we discovered the physiological role of FGF1. What we found is that FGF1, when injected into the bloodstream, has a potent glucose lowering ability. One of the remarkable observations that we made is that FGF1 is a new regulator of glucose. We did not know that, and it came out as a surprise. And so it's taking the entire field by surprise, yet at the same time, it gives us a very powerful new means to control glucose in the body. Instead of looking at growth and development, which was the sort of historical um, aspect of this molecule, we decided to look at this um, and how it works in metabolism and physiology and ultimately to see if we could find any links to disease. And uh, what we found is when we administered this molecule to mice that are diabetic, it was able to very rapidly and sustainably lower the blood glucose, showing promise of uh, correcting uh, the diabetic uh, phenotype in the mice. There are more and more type 2 diabetes patients. However, the current treatments that we have are not very efficient in maintaining normal glucose levels. Whereas what our molecule does is, is, is restore insulin's ability, which is a whole body system. And in fact, if we injected it directly into the bloodstream rather than maybe a sub-Q injection, it could actually lower glucose for about a seven day period. And that is remarkable and unheard of. It was very surprising because FGF1 typically isn't found circulating in the blood and the fact that we were able to inject it and it had such a dramatic effect on blood glucose levels and insulin sensitization was very surprising. At current, uh, we don't know the exact details of uh, how FGF1 works. Uh, to have this quite uh, amazing uh, anti-diabetic property uh, in mice models, but uh, we are very keen on following up on trying to find out uh, what the underlying mechanisms are, what are the other players involved, and again, all these new findings uh, may lead to new targets um, and new approaches to try to treat diabetes. I expect that while we are the initiator of the discovery, that many labs and many pharmaceutical companies will quickly jump on this observation because it has a great potential to provide an entirely new type of therapy to glucose management in a world of ever more diabetics, this becomes even more powerful and interesting, not only for the science, but what it can actually do for people.